when the Taliban took over Kabul, many residents were terrified. But Rowena, a young female journalist, decided she should go and talk to them for her YouTube channel. That was the last video she uploaded. She's unsure if the group will approve of her working or not. For now, many offices have told female employees to stay at home. Many female professionals have fled in fear. It's hard to imagine the Taliban accepting even small freedoms like this, filmed before the takeover. I really love my job and I want to carry on working, she says. I hope the Taliban will allow me to. Otherwise, I'll have to leave the country and go abroad. The last time the Taliban were in power in the 1990s, women weren't allowed to work, girls couldn't go to school. Even now, they defend punishments like lashing and stoning adulterers to death. Today, under Taliban rule, you do still see some women out and about in Kabul, though significantly fewer than before. Many are simply too afraid to step outside. So far here, they haven't been ordered to wear the burqa or to stay at home unless accompanied by a man. But no one's sure if that will last. I've been trying to speak to any of the women here, but all of them are extremely reluctant to go on camera. That's not something entirely new, but one woman did tell me while she was deeply anxious about the future, she didn't feel safe saying anything critical about the Taliban. Even without new laws being imposed, fear is changing the way many women dress. No one's buying jeans anymore, says this shopkeeper. Instead, they're buying headscarves and more conservative gowns. Many are deeply suspicious of the group, but today the Taliban told female employees at Kabul's mayor's office to return to their jobs. Durkana was one of a handful that turned up. They just said, you have to wear the hijab, she tells me, but I already dress like this anyway. The Taliban have always been vague in their commitments to women's rights. In some areas, they banned girls going to school beyond the age of 12. Young Afghan women have been amongst those taking part in scattered protests defying the group. Most of the Taliban Fawzi Akufi is a prominent campaigner and was a member of the team negotiating with the Taliban. A lot of women actually contact me. They come to see me or message me. Uh, they're trying a um, way out or looking for something different. Not only in terms of security, but in terms of hope for a better country. They don't have it anymore. But in the meantime, I think I'm very proud to see them getting ready to, to, to resist. Many worry that whilst the Taliban do promise women will be able to work and get an education, the group will grow increasingly strict once the international focus on them comes to an end. For now, it's a time of deep uncertainty. Sikandar Kamani, BBC News, Kabul.